welcome to bitunet code channel guys in today's video we'll see how we can uh, do route filtering in eigrp uh, with the help of a route mat right so let's start the routers quickly and take the console session this is our uh, r1 router this is r2 and this one is r3 so as you can see that uh, the network addressing scheme we are using is a 12.1.1 network between R1 and R2 and 23.1.1 network between R2 and R3 and the loopback networks we have created on R1 will try to uh, block uh, a few route, a few networks from these okay on R2 or R3 uh, let's do one thing let's uh, allow them on R2 and let's block them on R3 so we will block 10.1.1 network and 10.1.2 network okay so let's configure let's let me show you the ip address show ip uh, and brief exclude unassigned ip addressing scheme uh, is already done so let's go to r2 show ip int brief exclude unassigned you can see that ip addresses are already configured show ip int brief exclude unassigned okay let's uh, uh, see if any protocol is running no protocol is running over here also show ip protocol no protocol is running so uh, let's quickly configure eigrp 100 on all the routers network 0.0.0 0.0.0 .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 uh, wildcard mask no auto summary and right okay let's enable eigrp over here also 100 no auto summary network 0.0.0, .0 all the working interface uh, should be enabled for eigrp and right okay we can see that the we got message that adjacency is created with r1 config terminal router eigrp 100 no auto summary network 0.0.0 0.0.0 wildcard mask and right okay we can see that adjacency created and we should have all the routes end to end okay we got all the routes end to end connectivity is available now let me show you routes over here also and uh, let's try to ping from 23 10.1.1.1 okay 10.1.2.1 so what we'll do we'll uh, block these two routes 10.1.1 and uh, 2 okay 3 and 4 we will allow uh, 1 and 2 we will stop from reaching r3 so what we'll do we'll create a uh, uh, route filtering with the help of uh, route map on r2 so go to config uh, terminal so we will create a access list access list we will create a ip standard access list right so what we want to do we want to deny what we want to deny we want to deny uh, address to match okay if we want to uh, give a specific ip address we'll use a host if we want to block single host address we will use host if we want to block network we will use the IP of the network so the IP of network here is 10.1.1.0 okay and uh, wildcard mask is 0.0.0.255 enter right we also want to block 10.1.2.1 this is the second network we want to block okay and rest all should be permit permitted okay let's do it any enter okay uh, do show ip access list we can see that this is the uh, access list list we have created uh, access list and prefix list always start with uh, 10 and increment with 10 right so uh, they are uh, they will be read in this uh, fashion first of all uh, 10 sequence uh, will be re read and then 20 and then 30 
okay now we will create a route map so for route map we will use this command route map what is the name of route map let's keep it Cisco okay uh, route map Cisco route map Cisco uh, enter okay now we are inside the route map command now what we want to do we want to match values from a routing table okay so what we want to match let's hit enter here we will select match uh, match IP address question mark here we will uh, give the IP access list number we have created right we have created standard access list whose number is 10 from here you can see that we have created access list 10 ok enter and exit now we will apply this uh, route map created on the uh, interface of uh, R2 with the help of distribute list distribute list I'm sorry uh, we have to go into router EIGRP 100 distribute list uh, here we have the option of using a route map if we want to do uh, filtering using distribute list with the help of route map so we will use route map option what is the name of route map we have created we created the route map with the name of Cisco right here we can see that we created route map with the name of Cisco so uh, give it name Cisco and where we want to apply we want these routes to be available on R2 but 10.1.1 and 2 network should not be available on R3 ok so we will apply this on outgoing interface of R2 that is F01 so we will use this on out, outgoing interface let me show you um, uh, what other options uh, we can use filter incoming routing updates if we use in right then these routes will be blocked on r2 also and if i use out then uh, they will be blocked on outgoing traffic and they will not reach r3 right so that's why our purpose is to stop these routes from reaching r3 so we'll apply on out and before i hit enter uh, let me show you we had the ip, IP routes available all the ip routes available here ok and the moment I hit enter now we will get the message that uh, routes have been uh, resynced and then the EIGRP uh, uh, will uh, stop sending the routes to R3 ok we got the message that resync has happened show IP route and all the routes uh, should reach till R2 ok we have end to end connectivity till R2 and here also we got the message uh, that uh, ring his uh, resync has happened here also all the routes are there but on r3 our purpose was to block one and two network so let's do show ip uh, route uh, 10.1 dot uh, 10 dot 1 dot 2 is uh, seems to be present let's see if we have done any mistake oh I'm sorry uh, I think uh, we uh, did the mistake we g gave the wrong network here the correct network that we were supposed to give here was 10.1.2.0 right this was the second network whereas we gave the command as this so we will uh, what uh, we will do we will edit this network so let's do one thing uh, let's to show IP ac access list ok we have to edit this one let's uh, do uh, one thing let's uh, remove it and uh, quickly reapply this uh, IP access list 10 no IP access list uh, 
uh, access list uh, 10 no right now we can uh, use uh, same commands IP access list access list 10 deny 10.1.1.0 and um, wild cosmos 0.0.0.255 ok and we were supposed to give a uh, 2 here and then permit any ok show access list or oh, now this is in uh, correct uh, order so uh, now okay we got the message that a resync has happened show IP route oh and uh, let's see here now what are the routes we are getting so we can see that now we don't have the network with 10.1.1 and 2 1 we can see that uh, this route and uh, 1 and 2 uh, routes have been blocked from here so if I try to ping from here 10.1.1.1 ok this will not work whereas if, if I ping from here 10.1.1.1 this will work and other network will also work but from here both these uh, networks are not accessible so this was the video about how we can do route filtering with the help of route map. Thank you for watching this video.